Hey guys, Mike and Brad here from Office of the CISO, and today we're going to talk about what is a security operations center, like mm -hmm. what makes it up, who's, who's, who works in it, and uh, what's expected of it. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So more companies than you would probably believe are actually in the infancy of their information security program. And so a big part of what that is is developing the various parts of an ISO group or an information security office. Um, obviously, a very, very big part of the information security office is the security operations center, right? Yep. And you would be surprised at how many folks don't truly know what goes on in a SOC. Yep, and what that means. that's what we're going to discuss today. So um, we've both had plenty of opportunities to build up several SOCs yeah. across larger organizations, right? So, so Red, in the security operation centers that you've built, um, what purpose do they serve for the organization and um, what kind of employee worked in it? Yeah, so, uh, so the purpose a lot of times is to start with requirements. Um, the, the security operations center is going to help an organization operated security. I mean, uh, that's, of course, a 10,000-foot phrase. But that is a very 10,000-foot uh, Right, right. Yeah. But what I mean by that is the, the, the organization is going to have requirements that are going to come from somewhere, either from the industry or from a, a regulatory body or something. So the starting point of any security operations center is going to be requirements. Um, a lot of times that looks like uh, logging and auditing and turning those into useful reports that let you understand what's going on in your env environment, um, maybe figure out what normal is so that when something that happens outside of normal, it alerts you. Um, so uh, in, my, uh, in my history as a, as a CISO running security operation centers, um, security operation centers, uh, that's their, their main purpose is to keep eyes on the organization's information resources and uh, help track down threats as they're realized. Nice. Yeah. My experience is very similar. So I've built several at the state level, um, de developing basically security operation centers that their primary focus is to um, observe events as they come across the network and then triage and mitigate as necessary, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as the type of people that you'll see in a security operation center, right, you're going to see your cybersecurity engineers, you're going to have uh, frontline analysts, you know, the guys that are sitting there looking at the logs and the alerts and, and passing them up through the chain as, right. as they're found, right? And then, uh, of course, you got to have someone to help run the thing. So you got your security operations center manager. Uh, you know, they have a lot of different focuses. So, Brad, you mentioned that before you build a security operations center, the first thing you need to really look at is requirements. Right. So that, that lets you know what the security operations center needs to look for. But what what is a SOC, essentially, right? We've talked about some of the people that will be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you walk into a SOC, one of the first things you'll notice are monitors on the walls, typically. That's monitors on the walls and then a bunch of people sitting out at desks looking at computer screens. So it looks like a call center, honestly. Or if you ever saw a movie that had to do with NASA or anything like that, the big front laid out rooms that had all the big heads up yeah, displays. Yeah, and war games. Yeah, War games, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Right, so. right. Um, so that's what they look like when you step into one, but a uh, the, typically the, the people that are in there doing all this work are pretty highly specialized individuals with amazing attention spans because they're digging through tons and tons of detail all day every day, eight to ten hours a day. Um, looking at all the things that nobody else wants to look at and trying to make sense of them basically to, to paint a to paint an activities picture for the things that are going on in your organization um, again you're you're trying to know what normal is so that you can rec recognize abnormal and be alerted on it yeah cool. so that is the 10,000 foot view of what a security operations center is um, hopefully that provides you some guidance. If you liked the video, hit like. If you have not subscribed to us yet, hit subscribe. And uh, hit the little notification bell so you can get updates when new videos come out because we're going to be 
producing a plethora of content ranging from you know information security programs all the way up to the technical how to's and stuff so thank you so much for your time and you have a wonderful day